105,000 coins for a card that is genuinely incredible. I remember using him last FIFA, he was like 200, 300,000 coins last FIFA, and I think he released a little bit later on in the game cycle, I think Round the World Tots was with Ultimate Team of the Season instead of with Serie A Team of the Season. Um, so, it was, wait no, are we even in Serie A Team of the Season? We are, aren't we? I'm literally losing track of time. Fucking hell, we're in League 1 Team of the Season, I'm an idiot. Anyway, boys, the thing that makes this card so special is, as you can see, 5 foot 10, high medium, 4 star skill moves. He's got a 5 star weak foot, 91 agility, he's fast, he's got the shooting, his passing's insane, dribbling's insane, his physical, you'd, you'd literally, you'd expect him to have very poor strength, because obviously he is a smaller type of player, but no, he's got 87 strength, his aggression is fine, a power free kick trait, like genuinely, lads, I do not know how he's 100,000 coins, and then you know, I was like, maybe he's got a poor body type, maybe he's got an average body type, something that's not great. I go on Footbin, he's got a lean body type, which is the best body type to have in the whole game. Genuinely, how this card is 105,000 coins absolutely baffles me, especially with that 5 star weak foot as well. So, today, boys, we're going to slot him in the team. We're going to play his division rivals. I think we're, we're obviously in division 1. I don't know how skill rating is. I think 2.1k. I'm not sure. But we're going to play a couple games with him at Striker. Um, I'm genuinely I'm looking forward to trying this card because he just looks so underrated, and I am all for these type of cards. So, boys, we have got him in the squad with position changed him up to a striker we have got a Brazilian manager as well now we did end up dropping Laturo Martinez for him uh, Martinez was sick for me this weekend but obviously I mean I would not mind a Casino Red genuinely he would be absolutely phenomenal but for the chemistry style boys genuinely I mean, there's lots of ones you can use, and when you've got a card that is this good, you've got lots of options. Obviously, a Catalyst, a Marksman, a Hawk. We are going to go for a Hawk. We're going to get his pace all the way up to 99. He also gets a tiny uh, shooting boost. I feel like a Hunter is wasted, because a good thing with a Hawk as well, he does get a plus 5 strength, a plus 10 aggression. He goes to 95 acceleration, 99 sprint speed, 98 finishing. You guys can see for yourself. This card looks absolutely fantastic for 105,000 coins. A lean body type as well. I'm looking forward to trying this one out, boys. Also, for the custom tactics, I almost forgot. We're just going to be going attacking the whole time. 4 3 1 2. Him and Pale stay central, get behind, and stay forward. Easy does it, boys. Let's get into a review. First game of the day. Let's see. I've not played since literally yesterday. Um, his name is Salty. I mean, it's a sweetie team, and it's a very solid team. Obviously, this is what you are expecting in Division 1. I feel like Division 1 is inconsistent. You're either facing an average player, a very good player, or. Just an absolute freak of a game. Like an absolute sweep. There's no in between. Let's see how it goes, boys. We'll probably play a couple of them as well. First impressions. I mean, to be fair, man. To be fair, I can already tell the gameplay is quite heavy. But, Jesus Christ, I'm going to say, sweep, sweep every fall is going to blow there. But either way, I mean, he feels really good on the, good on the ball. Some really nice uh, ball control. I mean, that's what you're expecting with this card, aren't you? Go on, break away straight away to Jordi Alba. Jordi Alba. Unlucky, we'll take a corner from that. Go on. Casino running up. 1-2 of Pale. Back to Casino. Casino, can you bang that? He finds his way in that animation. Did you see that shooting animation? He, like, moved his whole body. Usually players with a finesse shot trait. That was not a finesse shot, by the way. But usually players with a finesse shot trait do automatically move their body in the animation for finessing it. It's really good. That's a really, really nice shooting animation. Could have just been how I shot it. But either way, there's beautiful positioning. A very nice 1-2. And, I mean, right foot, left foot, it doesn't matter. He's got a 5-star weak foot. Just like trying him out, you know, like, if he had to five, if he was five star, five star, this card would literally be like 200,000 coins. And the thing that doesn't even surprise me, right, is, well, the thing that does surprise me is you'd think, obviously, he's got poor links because maybe, maybe he's so cheap because he's got poor links. Yes, he's in a very odd league, like the Korean league or something like that, but he's Brazilian. I don't know what my opponent's doing, but he's Brazilian. He's got links with, obviously, a big boy like R9 is a strong link, but he's got links with Neymar, even just a gold Neymar at this point isn't hard to get. So I'm actually surprised on how cheap he is because it's not like he's incredibly hard to link either. Benz, that's lovely. Back down to Zambrotta. Casino making that run. Perfectly timed run. This Kunde is absolutely ridiculous. Pale. Pale. Oh, yeah. It was absolutely ridiculous from Pale, though. 5 2 up. And we somehow got 10 men. Can't lie, my opponent's not even bad. His Bamba specifically is just trying to hit me on the counter. So it's a very end to end game. We're just taking our chances a lot better. And beautiful control from Bamba right there, but I can't lie, boys, Kunde is absolutely, I wouldn't say putting him in his pocket, but I mean, my whole, I'm literally getting put in Kunde's pocket right now, I cannot lie to you guys. Benzema, you seeing that, I see that, beautiful ball, five-star weak foot as well, so I mean, that's the power of being a cam, why is Zambrotta up there, and why has Zambrotta just scored a rocket, where is my Zambrotta even playing right now, I know I've gone five of a bat, 
What? No, I'm still attacking. I forgot to change my in-game formation. So you're telling me? I was playing Sam Brodder as a centre mid. I mean, fair fucking play, boys. A 9.1 from Casina, one goal, zero assists, but he's been creating chances like crazy. Absolutely brilliant game so far from him, boys. Uh, taking another look at his goal. Once again, as I said, his animation, good one too. Look at the shot animation. Look at that shot animation. It's very, very, obviously some cards, not all cards actually have this. Um, obviously, uh, like look at that. As you can see, like turns his whole body. That is a very weird shot animation. But I can't lie, it worked out for us, and I mean, he was absolutely brilliant for us. He felt very good on the ball, the lean body type specifically. Let's hop into the next game. Pull it to Benzema. Good football. Casino making a run. Lovely. We're going to go for a low-driven shot. What a finish, man. What a finish. That was perfect. We, we obviously, we could have finessed it. We could have just shot it normally. Went for the low-driven, and it worked out for us. Brilliant goal. 1-1. One, one. Go on, Casino. Beautiful run. Shot cancel. I mean, it worked in our favor. I can't lie, my opponent read me very well there. I think he thought, he thought I was going to cut in. I did go for a shot cancel though. Right, once again, we're actually going to we're gonna call up. I think when we call up someone, it's Casina coming up. No, it's going to be Bruno, but we're going to do have a plan. That was not my plan. Palais, Casina. For the memes. Worth a shot. Worth a shot. You miss all the shots you don't take. Casino, lovely, you know, you're not really good with him, and obviously, when you do get to a higher level of, you know, foot champs or whatever, you'll see lots of people doing that, like, from the, dragging it from foot to foot into the pass motion, because obviously it kind of, like, it speeds the ball up a little bit, it gets a little bit of momentum on the ball, and he is very, it's very, very effective with, is it Casino or Casino? It's one of the two, but it's very, very effective with him, because of, I mean, with all little players, with all players with the lean body type, with good agility balance, it's always going to be effective with them more than others, um, but with him, specifically, the dragging Drag from foot to foot into a pass is very, 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 very good with him. Unlucky. Casino. Lovely. 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 Oh, we were so close. We were so close to an absolutely brilliant goal. At this point, there's three minutes left with three goals behind. It was just going to be a, a consolation goal at that point, but still, it would have been a very nice goal to score. He had it all. He had the dribbling. He had the tickets. He had the maneuvers. He just couldn't get that finish through. Very unlucky. Lovely. Dude, he, he's literally, he's a menace in the box. Although we didn't score with him there, he is a menace in the box. And especially with that, you know, a directional nutmeg or a bridge, once again, is going to be very effective with him. I can't lie, I'll just, uh, I hate admitting this, but yeah, my opponent was a better player. He absolutely battered me. 4-1, though, we had some solid chances that we made, maybe could have pulled back. In 8.4, he did pick up a goal. I want to have another look at his goal. It was absolutely perfect positioning. Uh, so as you can see, yeah, 13 minutes in. I mean, he works really well. We go through, he goes through them all, and I'm like, at this point, you could obviously finesse it, you could just shoot it normally, but we went for the safe option, and we did do a hard shot, or a low-driven shot, sorry, holding down on both of the bumpers and shooting it at the same time. Absolutely brilliant finish, exactly where I wanted it. Was that side netting? It, yeah, it was side netting. Absolutely perfect finish. You stop over to the end screen. Boys, two goals in two games, played at striker alongside Pale, and he was absolutely fantastic with a Hawk. Um, I feel like another thing you could do if you really want, you could go with an engine, which will also put him to max pace. It will give him a passing boost, and it will give him a, a balance and agility boost. I feel like 91 agility, 89 balance is perfectly enough. He does have a 94 ball control as well, um, but I can't lie. I, I was expecting him to feel a tiny little bit better on the ball. He felt brilliant dribbling, as you saw in all the clips. He felt brilliant dribbling-wise, but genuinely, I was expecting him to feel maybe a tiny little bit better. Um, before looking at the card, I was kind of expecting him to have, I, I don't know why, but I thought he had 99 agility. Um, obviously, still, he's an absolutely fantastic dribbler, and I feel like his best attribute is obviously his shooting, his pace, his passing, and dribbling. I can't lie, though, lads, um, his 87 strength uh, going to 93, I feel like that's a false stat. I feel like that is a false stat. It definitely did not feel like he had that 93 strength. He got pushed off of a ball multiple times obviously in one of in one on ones or straight with a defender i kind of felt like you know he, he can put up a solid fight but lots of the time not lots of the time but most of the time going into challenges 
yes, he did actually get absolutely beat. And that's the thing, though, we were facing like a prime moments Rio Ferdinand in the next game. And obviously, with the shorter players, shorter players can be as strong as they are, and they can still feel weak. You could have 99 strength and be five foot six. You'll feel absolutely, he'll, he'll feel weak. He will not feel like he's got 99 strength. And the same goes with this dude. I feel like that strength stat is a little bit of a lie, and I was a little bit underwhelmed in that aspect. But other than that, he was absolutely brilliant in front of net. He did not fail. Um, it was, a, it was a bit of a pain, really, because both of my opponents played with so much players back. It was actually really hard to, you know, get lots of goals. We took as much shots as we could with them. But obviously, lots of them would have just been a deflected or saved or something. But the two shots we had that really he should be putting away, he did put away absolutely perfectly. This card was absolutely nuts. So as you can see on the screen on the top right, the rating out of 10 and based on his value is going to go ahead. We're going to go ahead and give him on value 105,000 coins for this card. Value-wise, he's going to get a 9.5 out of 10. And performance-wise on how he performed for me, he's going to get a solid 9 out of 10. Very, very nice card, so that obviously brings his average to 9.25 out of 10, and I, I literally, I can't complain with this card. I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory, really. He's going to get a tick from me. The fact that he is only 105,000 coins and you've got a card of this level is absolutely fantastic. And when I say this, I genuinely feel like he is going to be an in-game card because we're basically getting to the end of the game now. He's usable now. He will be in, in, in the future, especially if you do. I know it's silly to compare him to, say, an R9 or something like that. But if you do theoretically want to compare them, they're definitely comparable. Um, I don't think, obviously not a moment's, a moments R9, but I think probably a mid R9. Um, yeah, so mid R9 has got two more pay, uh, pace, I think one more shooting, much less passing, uh, two more dribbling, and I think he's actually got less physical. So, I mean, obviously it's a little bit of a stupid comparison because R9 is R9, but still, in the gist of things, for this card, for the stats you get, is absolutely phenomenal. And the reason he has only 100k is because he's in the Korean League, um, but still, then again, he's Brazilian. He can get some really nice Brazilian links. He gets a link with uh, Romariano, if you guys have his team of season as well. Uh, obviously, I'm surrounding him with icons. He's got a strong link with Pele. So the only reason he's this cheap is because of his league, which is just absolutely ridiculous. Because if this was a Premier League card, I'm going to say it right now, if this was a Premier League card, if he was in the Premier League, he would be 500k, at least. This card, absolutely phenomenal. A big tick from me. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did get anything from this review, make sure to smash a like and subscribe. We're on the road to 7,000 subscribers. We're 800 off, so we're getting closer and closer. Still a wee bit to go, though. It's been your boy Davis, and until next time, see you guys later. Peace out, lads.